backlash. There's a charity in England or in the UK today facing a huge, huge, huge backlash for a decision it's made, which has just come to light over the last 24 hours. And it's the National Multiple Sclerosis Society uh, who sacked unceremoniously, I have to say, I've seen the email and it's horrible. They sacked a 90-year-old volunteer who has been working tirelessly for the charity for 60 years. Her husband had multiple sclerosis and he ran one of the local branches. He's since died. But she has worked raising money for multiple sclerosis for 60 years as a volunteer. And she was sacked uh, because she didn't adhere to their diversity and inclusion policy. Um, and she didn't uh, understand what pronouns were. And when one of the charity's paid staff asked her to use her pronouns in an email signature, you know, one of those automatic signatures you put on your emails, she said, I, I, I don't know what they are. I, I don't understand what you're asking me to do. Uh, they sacked her because she didn't know what pronouns were. And uh, this is really, really, they've gone against the public mood with this. Uh, but I wonder how indicative we talk about, you know, just there, Adele, you know, the, the policies that she's, force maybe uh, to, to broadcast worldwide. These diversity and inclusion policies, they're across charities across the board and all public organizations across the board, but they've misjudged the public mood. Initially that people said it was ageism, but now that the real facts have come to light and the original email sacking this woman, which is so brutal and cold and horribly written, it's hard to see that a human being was behind it at all. But the president wrote to the volunteer and said, uh, you, you don't, uh, you don't, so you've breached our diversity and equality guidelines we're going to have to let you go not even really thanking her for her 60 years loyal voluntary service uh, the charity has supported its decision initially and said that the staff who 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 sacked her acted in the best interests uh, but the public reaction oh people have gone mad Sonia people have gone absolutely mad uh, some of the comments are my heart breaks for this woman uh, what are this charity thinking uh, somebody who clearly knows her her name is Fran Itkoff uh, said Fran was always kind uh, many many people are saying they're going to withdraw their financial support to the National Multiple Sclerosis Society uh, many people saying that they have people in their families with multiple sclerosis or they have multiple sclerosis and this is an absolutely abhorrent um, decision. Uh, somebody else said, what she, what did she do that was so terrible that you had to fire her? But well, what's so terrible about not understanding something? You know, does this apply to other policies in the charity? You know, if you say, oh, I don't understand, can somebody help me? You're fired. Uh, and also because she's 90, she's 90. So another person has rightly said this job, now she's lost her husband, may have been the only thing that kept her going, that the charity has stolen this from her. Uh, and, and then many, many people reflecting what we say here at TNT, the world is upside down. Uh, the president of the charity has announced this week that she's retiring. Uh, she says it's got nothing to do with what happened, nothing at all, nothing. I, I'm, I'm just retiring. I was always going to retire. Uh, but this, this has caused a huge row. Uh, and I think other charities will probably be watching this story with interest because they've all got these diversity and, and, and equality policies now. It's been thrust upon them, possibly common purposes behind it we talk about common purpose a lot um but yeah they've misjudged the public mood much like Adele uh, and the poor lady six years of loyal voluntary service raising money fired for not understanding what a pronoun is my heart goes out to her that is a horrible story in so many respects because she's sort of caught up in an era that she doesn't understand and all she knows is to be devoted to that cause and they've literally like just thrown her out you know, a thrown her, you know, on the dump. That's it. You're over. You're done with. And I worry about things like this, Gemma, because at, at her age, you know, that's kind of heartbreaking. And um, we know there are studies where people can literally die of a broken heart. And, you know, and what now for her? So I really am deeply concerned about her. And I hate all of these policies, Gemma, not because I'm not an inclusive person. I'm naturally an inclusive person. I was inclusive before I was told that we had to be inclusive or diverse. And I think that a lot of these policies are completely detrimental to society. They create these false ideas. People need to just be able to get on with it. You know, some of the, the best paid jobs around at the moment are to do with diversity and inclusion. And a lot of it just comes down to really a lot of the diversity and inclusion is really built so heavily around the transgender issue, so heavily. And it's really just about allowing men to, to call themselves women and replace women. You know, once again, in our lifetime, we have a bunch of middle class men who worked out how they could be the ones who were the victims 
right? It's absolute madness. I hate it all. I hate it all. And my heart goes out to it. And they deserve every bit of backlash they get, Gemma. Tell us what you think in the comments. Horrible. Her loyalty, Gemma, completely trashed. Yeah. And also, you know, let's look at the words diversity and inclusion. Well, not if you're 90 and not if you don't understand something. Right. So how, is it, how is it diverse and inclusive to say, right, well, you don't understand, you're out. That's not very inclusive, is it? And also this, the, you know, charities across the board are adopting these policies. Public organizations across the UK and the world are adopting these policies. So it's a cautionary tale for all of us. You know, if you just say in your workplace, I'm really sorry, I don't understand something. Is that going to get you fired? Because it's not diverse right. and inclusive. And these policies, they're, 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 they're an oxymoron. It, you know, they, they're, they're, we're, they're, we're diverse and inclusive unless you disagree with us. Then we're not diverse right. and inclusive at all. We'll fire you. So it doesn't make any right. sense. It's, they're, they're, they're not even adhering to their own policies. Maybe they should be fired. The bosses should be fired because they're not being diverse and inclusive themselves. If I was uh, this lady's family, I'd be considering a, a legal action on that basis. What's diverse right. and inclusive about fi firing me because I don't understand something? Um, you know, and that could set a precedent then for other companies to to watch their step when it comes to these policies. But, it, you know, I like to bring positive news to TNT on a Friday. Um, but this story, I couldn't ignore it because of the backlash it's generated. Mm -hmm. And I hope it really does make this charity reconsider. It's a big national charity. I think they will feel the hit in their pockets. And I think other charities will be looking at this and thinking, oh, we'd better be careful with our diversity and inclusion policies. Yes, indeed. It's funny because one of the tech guys earlier, we were talking about pronouns, oddly enough. And I said, my pronouns are mind your own business. And the thing is, right, is that pronouns, the whole issue of pronouns is really about deception, because for the most part, you can look at me and you know my pronouns are she and her. You know that. And oftentimes the only reason we use pronouns is when we're trying to fool somebody that we're not what is very obvious to the naked eye. So listen, on that note, thank you so much. This has been Friday's version with Gemma Cooper and it's still positive because Gemma is here with us and uh, we will see her again on Monday. I will be right back.